Yeah, there are four boxes. Are you familiar with the original one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there are four boxes specifically that I changed, um, partly because I was working with I was working with the original canvas and. I work with a lot of products and I found that there were a lot of boxes that were very similar. So when you talk about key partnerships, like they were very similar, plus they were things that were not really day one problems. Like many startups don't have any key partners because they don't even know what the product is they're going to build. You don't have a key partner. So for me, it was those kinds of things. There were other things that were not very clear, like customer relationship. I didn't know what that meant, um, and I had to go research it. And when I show entrepreneurs, they don't understand what it means either. Key activity, kind of the same thing. It's like, is it a customer key activity or my key activity? So there were a lot of things that were confusing you have to go and understand. Um, I wanted to create something that was just very simple, so you can read it, like problem, solution, key metrics. Some of the things require a little bit of explanation, but many people, without any knowledge, go and create the canvas as uh, pr you know, pretty much uh, 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 from the beginning. They have to create something that is pretty close to being good enough. And uh, to what industry have you applied uh, your model more so far? Have you applied more it so far? Yeah, so I definitely come you know, from the tech industry. I'm a technical founder, so that's the one that I understand the best. But I will say, and, and it's probably the one that uh, I talk to the most, so the entrepreneurs I work with the most. Um, and that's also because software is just everywhere, whether you're in the car business or you're in the, um, in the high tech business, you're going to be using software in some form. So, website, anyone that has any kind of an online presence, like I, I work with them the most. But then I've also done a lot of work with um, other other like uh, very technology intensive, like when I talk to like clean tech and biotech uh, types of companies, um, medical, there have been a few of those. So there are some other, and even physical products, people trying to build like, you know, books and People trying trying to start restaurants. We have got some doctors and lawyers that restaurant are restaurant business. Yeah, that are that are looking to apply these techniques. So they're looking at that. So I've worked with like a, a doctor who had a practice and he wanted to scale it. So he wanted to apply these techniques. So in the course, it's been it's been a, a number of people. But I would say where I work the most is still in the in the tech or high tech areas. And in which countries do you believe it's been more applied besides the U.S.? Well, so that's. Interesting. I'd have to look at my India, <laughs> my business. No, it's actually so. I think India is definitely growing. Like it's, I, I see it. If I look at my like book readership, for example, I think the number one country is the U.S. But interestingly enough, two thirds of my book sales happen outside the U.S. So that's only, only 33 percent of the of the traffic. Um, and so. Definitely, like in Europe, there are a number of hot spots. Like you know, Germany is like one of the, you know, UK is one of them. Um, in Brazil, like when I launched the first edition of the book, I sold 600 copies in a day. So there's definitely a lot of people there. I know that 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 downloaded the book. Yeah, I downloaded. Yeah, yeah. So I think that they're they're just different kind of hot spots. I don't know like what the ranking is, but I know that they're. They're, they're, it's not U.S. is one third of that traffic, and which is why I'm also very excited because I think that entrepreneurship is everywhere. And when I go to places, people speak different languages, I eat different food, but it's the same entrepreneurs. They have the same fears, the same ambitions, the same access to information, the same tools. So I'm very excited that there's going to be an entrepreneurial renaissance that's more global in the next 10 years than just being, you know, U.S. centric. Yeah. yeah. So for your information, like in Brazilia, we ran some startup dojos and we used the, the link canvas. We also had a startup weekend uh, in February, so we everybody Perfect. was using the link canvas. May I ask cool. you one more Thanks. question? Yeah, yeah. Do you see uh, 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 groups of consultants or, or, or consulting <laughs> services using your model? Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. That's Have you seen it already? Have you seen it yeah. happening? Oh yeah, that's on the rise. I mean, there was someone here today who was interested in, in talking further about that. But I see a lot of like agile shops, even design shops, where in the past they would only be doing kind of build activities. They would say, you know, give us the specs, we will build what you want. They're now understanding that lean is really about you know delivering on customer uh, on customer value. So if they can make their customers successful, which sometimes means not building the wrong product. So rather than building things to spec, they're now even using Lean Canvas with their clients and saying, hey, you want an iPhone app? Let's go and validate if that's even an iPhone app we should build for you. So they're adding customer development in that early process, trying to build MVPs and trying to do customer validation. 
and I think it's very smart because it improves the overall lifetime value of their services. So I'm and seeing more of that. And do you have partner consultants that work with you, like uh, like uh, that uh, that apply your model to their to their activities and uh, in partnership with you? Yeah, so not officially. I mean, there have been a number of people that are just using the tools, and we make it very easy for them to uh, to get access to the tools. We give them, you know, uh, package bundle packaging and things like that. Um, with some of them that have been interested, we share some content, but it could be in the future we work more closely with some partners, but there have not been any, any like not so far. exclusive or close partners. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to, to get to know you and to, to be here for these two days. Yeah, we learned a lot, a lot about that. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> Have a safe flight. All right, thank you. Uh, thank looking you forward to meet you back in Brasilia, <laughs> to meet you in Brasilia maybe a couple of weeks or months from now. Okay, Let's perfect. speak about